This is the fitting guide for the LDL hook type TPMS sensor. In this video you will learn how to fit the sensor on the rim and correctly mount and dismount a tyre without damaging the sensor. For this video you will need an LDL hook type sensor and a 22.5 inch WUS hook cable. There is also a 19.5 inch and a 17.5 inch cable available. Step 1. Place the rim on the fitting machine with the valve at 6 o'clock. The sensor is fitted at 12 o'clock opposite the valve. Step 2. Place the sensor on the rim with the arrow pointing towards the outside. Ensure the sensor can sit flat in the middle of the drop sensor area on the rim. If there is not at least 30mm clearance above the sensor, do not fit it. Step 3. Wrap the cable around the rim, making sure the cable is correctly seated on the lever side. Engaging the loop in one of the multiple notches in order to set the tension. Clipping should be achieved by using moderate strength of one hand. If you can move the sensor in any way, or lift the lever, tighten the cable one more notch. When mounting a tyre, the valve must not be obstructed. Avoid contaminating the sensor with lubricant and the tyre must never put pressure on the sensor. Mark the position of the sensor on the rim with chalk. For the purpose of this video, we will be using masking tape. Depending on the brand of the fitting machine, ensure that the sensor is placed at 3 o'clock with the inner bead at 12 o'clock, rotating the tyre clockwise. For the second bead, fit as normal for the brand of fitting machine. With the area of the rim opposite the valve marked, lubricate the tyre on both beads. Ensure the sensor is 90 degrees from the removal tool. Place the nozzle of the tyre fitting machine under the external bead.
Place a lever behind the nozzle and turning anti-clockwise, remove the first bead. Reposition the sensor at 6 o'clock. Maintaining the same direction of rotation, remove the second bead. Key points. Ensure the drop sensor of the rim is wide enough to take the sensor. Ensure the sensor is tight enough, there should be no movement. When mounting the first bead of the tyre, start with the sensor at 3 o'clock, working in a clockwise direction. When dismounting the first bead, ensure that the sensor is 90 degrees from the removal tool. And when dismounting the second bead, the sensor should be at 6 o'clock, working in an anti-clockwise direction. Thank you.